Hi, my name's Abbas, and I'm here to show off the Hulkam VDS mod for Couple Space Program. Uh, this mod adds a huge variety of Hulkams to the game, and also adds a telescope which is very Hubble-like in nature. Now, at first I thought this telescope was completely cosmetic, and just thought this would be the only, <laughs> this is the farthest I could look with it, um, but I was absolutely wrong. With this mod, you can look at almost any planet in the Kerbin Solar System, along with certain moons. Uh, here we're going to show off Minmus as our first object to be shown off with this mod. Uh, I'm going to zoom in here and you'll be able to see the details of Minmus at about 200 kilometers above Kerbin orbit. Uh, here you can see the prominently displayed uh, mountain ranges and craters of Minmus. Next we're showing off the moon here, or the Mun, sorry. And the uh, thing about the Mun is, especially with this visual enhancement pack, uh, specifically the Astronomer's visual pack, is it seems more browner than you would think, right? You, you, whenever you look outside and look up at the moon, you think, oh wow, it's so white, that must be white there. Um, that is incorrect, I believe, from the book Rocket Men, and that's where I'm getting all this information from, uh, that the moon is actually browner. And since the Mun is based off the moon, the Mun should also be browner. Although that haze is a little bit too hazy, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, now we're off to Duna, uh, the place of many of my dead carbals, RIP and peace guys. So you can easily see the North and South Pole from here, and you can also see Ike extremely easily. The spotting Duna was quite difficult because it's so small and so far away, but there are things more difficult and things I haven't found yet, like Moho and Elu, and that's my challenge to you guys. Find Moho and Elu, take a picture, and show me, because I spent the better half of an hour trying to find either of them with no luck. Next up is Jewel. The uh, thing about this shot right now is I'm just trying to show you how hard it is to aim the actual camera at the object that you're trying to look at. Because when you zoom in, it zooms directly on the center of the screen, and the object is not always in the direct center of the screen. So here's the best shot I could get of Joule. Uh, you can see the moons here, which is really cool, and it reminded me a lot of Galileo's drawings of Jupiter and how he got them, because, you know, he had his little tiny telescope, and he was like, let me look at the sky, and then he saw Jupiter, and he was like, bro, that thing's got moons too. That's weird. And then he did his drawings, and he made people angry and uh you know he 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 lived though he probably lived a better life than than most other people who said that the earth does not or the sun does not revolve around the earth uh now i'm just going to show you all the different cameras they're all in utility i mean there's one in science but i mean they're all just cameras basically so there's nothing much to say about them uh there's an arrow cam a booster cam uh curb pro the curb pro which is the you know digital camera looking thing so the booster cam has two options there's two different cameras on it you can look from the top which is what you're seeing right now and you can also look from the bottom which is the more exciting view the telescope actually comes with its own solar panels i just put some extra ones on there for whatever reason uh, there's a lens guard you have to open up, and there you go, you can see the inside of the camera. Here's the uh, nav cam. It just shows off what a camera does. I mean, you point it, and you see through it, and that's basically it. There's not much to these different cameras, except for how far they can zoom in. Security camera can zoom in that far, while the Curb Pro camera, which I'm about to show you in a sec, can zoom in almost as far as the telescope. Yes. I am running on the Mac, and those 8K textures from the Astronomer's Visual Pack are freaking out, so whatever though. Once you get close, they disappear, so it doesn't matter. Last but not least is my favorite picture so far that I've taken. Here is Kerbin, and uh, I will be damned if that is not the most realistic thing I've ever seen. I felt like I was in space after looking at this. Uh, I just wanted to say that uh, thank you to the creator of the Astronomer's Visual Pack, uh, Neck, Neck Kit, Ken. I'll just say Ken, thank you absolutely for making this because I have never been more happy in my life than looking at Kerbin from this distance. If I'd ever want to leave Earth, it would only be to look at Earth <laughs> from a distance because <laughs> of how beautiful it would look. Um, also, thank you to Albert VDS 
for creating this whole cam pack. Uh, keep up the good work and uh, thank you for watching. Bye. I'm, you didn't have your ult yet? Like, I don't know what that like, means. All right. So. My my ulterior motive. No, your ultimate. Okay, whatever that means. It's your R. Oh, dude, I'm about to kill the white. I killed the white. Yes. Yeah, I saw it. You actually dude. did it. GG. I did it. It'll be just like when Bernie started with the drunk gamers, so that he could just get free alcohol. It'll be like us, so we can get free maids. <laughs> Or to blow us. Or free <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no,